This video is sponsored by PokeTownStore.com, the place for all your Pokemon TCG online needs. They have code cards from a huge variety of sets, so definitely check it out, PokeTownStore.com. Also, if you use the coupon code ZAPDOSTCG, you get 5% of your next order. How cool is that? So we do with Zapdos TCG here and welcome back to another TCG battle video on my channel today We are gonna be playing around with the fossils So get your fossils out of your binders and test this out because this is actually a kind of amazing list of the top 8 of the Bakum regional So fossil box was there so uh, that is very nice to see some rogue decks popping up at some huge events and taking down some of the tag teams So with Rampardos we have Wild Crash for 3 fighting energies we can just knock out the opponent if it's a basic Pokemon Even if it has a bazillion amount of HP let's say an 80 of 280 HP well automatically knocked out and now how do we get this attack rolling we have karate belt to uh, reduce the uh, attack cost by one fighting energy if we're behind in prize cards and then we also have this amazing way to use super boost energy if we can get uh, three stage twos on our field this is possible thanks to the amazing professor's research actually not professor pokemon research lab this is a stadium card allows us to get two pokemon that evolve from unidentified fossil and put them down immediately onto the bench so uh, if we evolve them the turn afterwards we can get stage twos out in no time we also have caracosta making sure that the opponent's tool cards have no effect so uh, get rid of the uh, skateboard effect also other tool cards that uh, spell attack for instance they uh, no longer have uh, an effect which is fantastic that's uh, that's pretty uh, yeah and this matchup if you're up against Malamar you definitely want to get get this guy up and rolling but also this Caracosta can one shot Reshizard so uh, with Aqua Impact sometimes you use that attack and out of nowhere you one hit KO uh, Reshizard which is fantastic other than that we have one copy of the Aerodactyl GX this Aerodactyl GX with Wild Dive GX sometimes can come out of nowhere and one hit KO opponents Pokemon if they have a lot of energies attached. This also helps out against Picaram and also against Dark Box, but Dark Box is not a popular archetype as of yet. We have a uh, Marshadow, so we can get rid of the Chaotic Swell. Uh, if we can get rid of the Chaotic Swell, we can smack down uh, the Pokemon Research Lab once more. We have Fighting, uh, actually Martial Arts Dojo. This will uh, get us extra damage output uh, with our Fighting type Pokemon. If we get a Fighting Energy attached, we can dish out more damage. And uh, if we're behind in Prize Card, we can smack an additional 40 damage. So that means uh, this Rampardos can actually smack a huge amount of damage for just a single energy. That means 40 damage extra. If we're behind, that means 100 damage. And if it's an Evolution Pokemon, 160. So uh, things go overboard with this amazing Rampardos. So that's why there's a maximum of 4-4 off in this list. Jirachi will make sure we find that Pokemon Research Lab on the early phase of the game because it's very crucial to get that. And then other than that, we have some energy switch uh, mechanics. So uh, sometimes you attach to a Pokemon, you can get it to another Pokemon. You desperately want to have that first turn attachment. Even though it's on a Jirachi, you can uh, use energy switch later. Next up, we have uh, yeah the Great Catcher targeting down the G-axis on the opponent's bench. And then we have uh, a, a couple of supporters that might surprise you. We have Faba getting rid of uh, stadiums or special energies. Uh, in that case, that means that you can get rid of like weak guard energies or rainbow energies very great to slow down adp list we have guzman hala which can search of course our amazing stadium card uh but also can get the special energy the super boost out of the deck immediately while also getting of course a tool card and since like a karate belt or the escape boards for jirachi we have copycat believe it or not because a lot of these decks uh, fill up their hands so that's why we're gonna use copycat and get the amazing hand size instead of just going crazy with a bunch of cynthia's there's only three of them in there and then we have a copycat cyrus is amazing against those uh archetypes that just have an inside entire setup like malamar if you have jirachi in the active position or you have caracosta in the active position you can use this card and then you can uh, choose two bench pokemon and uh, the opponent has to shuffle uh yeah your opponent has to choose two bo bench pokemon so they can choose but all the rest of the Pokemon get shuffled back into their deck. So uh, that is amazing. If they want to have a setup, bam, it's gone. And then Rosa, of course, if uh, one of our Pokemon got knocked out during the opponent's last turn, we can search our deck for a trainer card, a Pokemon, and a basic energy. So uh, that is going to be our deck for today. Fossil Box. Uh, actually, I'm so surprised that it got into the top 8. So I'm very excited to be playing around with this once more. We already tested this out, but this is an updated archetype. So uh, we'll see if it is still as solid as it looks. Another meta game filled with tag teams. We have Guardian, we have Mew Mew, we have Reshazar, we have Pikaram, we have all of these uh, amazing tag teams that see a huge amount of play. We have ADP even, so 
if we can get this Rampardos going, things will be all right. We are up against probably Abilities Art. What can we do against Abilities Art? Uh, they can uh, smack with uh, one prize attackers in the form of Turtonator. They also have Victini Prism Star, so we might even have to rely on Karakasta, so their Jirachis will no longer have free retreat thanks to a skateboard. That is going to be the first thing I'm going to try to get out. But also Karakasta hits for weakness against those pesky fire decks. Okay. We'll see how it goes. The good news is that the Dene GX is also uh, yeah, an amazing basic Pokemon that we can one-hit KO. Although, with of course the necessary requirement, we can even one-hit KO it with clean hit. If we can get uh, behind in prize cards and get of course the uh, Martial Arts Jojo at its full effect. We'll see how that goes. Probably communication, we're gonna see a Dedene or a Pokemon because uh, he probably already has Welder in the hand. I have a, I have a uh, feeling for that. Abilities Art, if I play against that, okay, it's a tag team, that's fantastic. Still does not know what we're uh, up against, so uh, he uh, gets Ability Zard out. Probably gonna smack down a Welder onto that uh, Reshi Zard, and we only need to get out our Rampardos. That's gonna be a great way to go about this, because we want to use that amazing attack to one-hit KO attack team. Okay, Mallow and Lana. Mellow and Lana. Is this going to be a Mew Mew uh, version? Okay, Reshi Zard smacking down. Probably just gonna be Ability Zard. Okay. One energy on the abilities art, retreating into Rush's art and just passing. Okay, that is not even a welder. How fantastic is that? We have not a lot of options, so I'm just gonna go for a Stellar Wish, see what we can grab, and uh, out of this bunch, we don't see a lot. We only have Great Catcher, we have a Switch, and we have Energy Spinner. So in that scenario, all of these cards are kind of irrelevant. Now that I think about it, because we are actually going to be using Copycat in this scenario. Uh, yeah, Energy Spinner, just get that out, I guess. Yeah, just getting the Energy Spinner out of the deck. I'm also going to use the Skateboard. The reason why I'm using Energy Spinner right now is that our Copycat will most likely get, of course, uh, Pokemon Research Lab. That is something we desperately want. So I'm going to go for the Energy Spinner. Going to get all of these out. I know we are gonna shuffle them back in, but we don't draw into Energy Spinner once more. I'm gonna give one energy to the uh, Jirachi. We can energy switch that away later because we have it in hand. Or maybe we're gonna get it again, but we desperately need to find that Stadium card. And if we don't find it, we, got, we are gonna get done. So we're, we're gonna maximize our chances of getting something. So we get an Unidentified Fossil. We get another one of our Jirachi. So that, that's gonna be fantastic because Rosa is also a part of our squad. Let's smack down this. Gonna go for a good old switch. Let's retreat uh, and let's see what we find here. Stellarish, we find the stadium. Do we find it? We do not find the stadium. Although we could use Guzman Hala. I think uh, it's the best way to go about this and going for the Guzman Hala next turn. Although we have a Rosa in hand, might as well go for communication. Finding another Pokemon. Oh boy, what to do? What to do? Huh. The Rosa will immediately get herself an, an insane combo here. We can get, of course, our... Yeah, the bad thing is that we don't get the stadium. <laughs> we have so many options to get that stadium. And, of course, it does not work out. So, yeah, then we're gonna go for the Guzman Hala for now and see how we go about it. So, uh, he's definitely gonna knock our Jirachi out. And then we have access to Rosa. Okay. With Rosa, we can find... I don't think this list runs Rare Candy. I uh, could have been wrong, but uh, with Rosa, you can just get yourself whatever you want. But here comes the Welder onto the Reshizard. He's gonna uh, explode on our Jirachi. This is very scary. Very scary indeed. But we're gonna definitely, definitely get this up and rolling. We have Guzman Hala to go about this. So if we are able to uh, survive, we are actually gonna upgrade on that Tag Team GX sooner or later. Okay, even a Dedanic popping life. Pretty scary, pretty scary indeed. We have our little fossil here, it's sitting on the bench. As soon as he gets a Vulpix out, things could be uh, over very quickly because he can go, okay, no, no Vulpix. We're good, we're good. Still having access to Jirachi, and I don't think this list runs uh, Rare Candy. I have already would have seen it by now. So, in this scenario, uh, what I'm gonna do here is going to go for the Guzman Hala. And I'm actually gonna discard uh, Fighting Energy and the Marshadow here, not that we are gonna need those. And we are actually gonna get our research lab, finally. Uh, also, I want to find our Karate Belt, and also, yeah, we can get a special energy. The Super Boost energy could be very relevant if we can get a lot of these guys up and rolling. All right, let's get them up. Ta-da! Next up, before we smack down, uh, yeah, definitely the research lab, gonna use it in a minute, just gonna go for the uh, good old Stellarish. 
Uh, we just get a switch, which is fine. I'm actually gonna sacrifice my unidentified fossil while I'm at it because I don't. He probably only has the gusting at the with the nine tail, so uh, he can smack down that, and we are gonna go for good old, yeah, crany dose, both of them, because we need them to go for rampart dose. We have the super boost in hand. With Rosa, we can get an energy switch, and uh, things should go smoothly. We can definitely get the scale because of Rosa. Okay, no need to get out Aerodactyl or anything uh, for that matter, although Aerodactyl would smack 200 damage. I think these are sufficient. Two Cranidas as it is. The good news is, is that we can one-hit KO uh, the basics. We don't have the Great Catcher in hand just yet, but we do have Stellar Wishes. So yeah, we have two Cranidas. Our research lab was a little bit later than I expected or that I anticipated, but I think it's fine. With so many Jaxes on the opponent's field, I think we should be good. There's a switch coming around, so he's gonna go uh, for the Heatran as the attacker, Ooh, which is pretty scary. We're just gonna be evenly traded with that. So getting some more Pokemon out of the deck will be just <laughs> very, very necessary. Okay, at least we have our energy switch mechanic with Rosa. That helps a lot. And we even have a pivot. We can uh, get St Jirachi on the active position, use Stellar Wish, get, of course, one of the resources, and maybe our Rosa can work for something else entirely. We'll see. Okay, the good news is also if we are not up trading in prize cards, our Karate Belt will be more live than ever before. A bunch of the skateboards, so getting maybe the uh, Caracosta out would have also been a good idea. Yeah, that's just not too shabby. Okay, another did Danny. So his uh, field is entirely filled with GXs at this point. So uh, this guy loves GXs, so it seems. We don't see any Vulpix. And of course, the Heatran is just going crazy with this attack here. Okay, Jirachi, it's time to shine. Finding the puzzle pieces for our combo. We even have a Faba. That could be interesting, but not today. Stellarish, we get a reset stamp. Research, hey, the energy switch is actually more needed than the reset stamp okay first things first we are going to go for a rosa what do we need at this point i think i want myself rampardos uh another rampardos mm, great catcher so we can target down that the huge tag team and get three prize cards in the process and an unidentified fossil maybe do we have some more left no we don't Okay, this is getting a little bit crazy. A little bit crazy, a little bit crazy. Okay, basic energy. Do we get the... Another supporter? We're definitely gonna get three prize cards if we do it like this. We get rid of Faba, we get rid of a switch, and uh, we're actually gonna go after that tag team because that is what the list is all about. Could have also stamped, but we're gonna do that later. So, what we're gonna do is we're gonna evolve one of our little crany dogs. They're awesome, just like that. We're gonna give him a karate belt. We're gonna give him one attachment of the turn. Yeah, that seems fine. Next up, we're gonna go for an energy switch. Still have the super boost in hand. Yeah, to the Rampardos. And next up, we're just gonna manually retreat. Now our Rampardos is looking scary. We're gonna go for Great Catcher. Getting rid of this, getting rid of that. And we're gonna go after Attack Team because that is what the list is designed to do. Here we go, Wild Crash, just knocked out, out of nowhere, tag teams, they go. <laughs> yeah, it's very fun to play with, but we actually need a couple of turns to save the day because uh, we did not have the research lab in the early phases. There was uh, one prize, as it seems, and another Rampardos. Okay, we are up ahead in prize cards, so we might use a research lab during our next turn so we can get two Rampardos up and roll. Okay, that looks pretty fine. Maybe even get the Caracosta out. Caracosta with Super Boost can actually uh, dish out a lot of damage. The bad news is that we had to sacrifice one of, a little, one of our little fossils in the early phases of the game. Oh yeah, the Vulpix is, is now popping up. We desperately need to find that reset stamp now. But uh, our uh, setup looks to be pretty good. He's definitely gonna use that GX move to get, of course, a one-hit KO thanks to the Hot Burn. Probably gonna smack 200 damage. I don't think we'll uh, find uh, all our puzzle pieces just yet, so that's gonna be quite scary. We have to uh, separate our energies across the field to be able to stand a chance. Still one energy uh, switch left in the deck, which is fine. Also, finding a copycat would be so huge with Jirachi right now. That's also a reason why I did not use the reset stamp earlier. 
but it is going to be fantastic if we find a copycat. Okay, he's going to absorb some energies. We do see Burning Road live on the, the action here. Oh, no, Burning Road, just 130. Ooh, what are you up to? So first things first, gonna smack down this stadium car. We're gonna evolve into another uh, crany dose. And uh, yeah, I think this is gonna be game set and match because what is he planning? We can just attach Wild Crash and that should be fine. So, Cynthia, boom. Okay, we have even energy switches, some communication up and rolling. The only thing we need to do is one hit KO another Pokemon. I think that is not uh, a uh, difficult task with clean head, don't see any attackers just yet. He could come with his uh, Turtonator, which could be kind of scary, but eh, I'm not afraid of it at all. He could also stamp us now that I think about it, although Reshazards typically only run one or if not zero stamps. Not gonna use the escape board, maybe we can use Jirachi multiple times. So here comes another Wild Crash, boom, he got knocked out. Thanks to Rampardos, did not know why he did not knock us out. That was pretty stupid, I think. Alright, we have some more energies, that's good. And now uh, let's see what we are able to do in this scenario. We have two Rampardos, one is able to smack 120 damage, I believe, on Evolution Pokemon. So, yeah, yeah, here comes the reset stamp, that's to be expected. Oh yeah, he can now go after our Jirachi, maybe that was his plan. Was his plan all along, although if he knocks out Jirachi, we can then come in with the clean head. So, uh, yeah, he needs Welder on his... Uh, his last welder because there's only one more welder in the deck did he find a welder no that was a fire crystal maybe it's prized maybe we are in luck but if he goes after this he's, he he lost automatically thanks to of course the clean hit smacking 120 okay he's just destroying our ramper dose it's fine they have not used a lot of supporters just yet only the guzma and hala and a rosa so yeah i'm gonna go for it. hopefully find a supporter here we have a crany dose might as well swap that to another Pokemon because we cannot use it anyhow. What can we use? We can uh, get another Jirachi up because we don't have unidentified fossils anymore. Probably there's gonna be one prize, so I'm gonna get this out. So we tin out the deck, which is fine. The only thing we need is one energy, so we just need to find a supporter. Stellarish, come on, we have Cynthia. Cynthia will definitely get us one energy and that should be game with this first showcasing of the fossil deck Here we have yeah, the energy and now we're gonna use the clean hit For 120 damage and we're gonna say well played did not know why he did not use the GX move for 200 Guess we'll never know but we're gonna be playing another game with this fantastic deck Okay, Rapper Dose, you did it you knocked out tag teams you knocked out GX's you even knocked out a one prize evolution Pokemon so that's why this list came in at the top 8 of the Bachem Regionals. Definitely check out the streams if you want to see this uh, match in action. Limitless TCG does have his streams on their YouTube uh, page, like the archive. Now we're going to play another round because you guys want to showcase a uh, yeah, showcasing of a deck to last longer. I see that a lot in the comment section. Why, why there's only one game? Well, typically I want to get out as uh, many games as possible, but then, uh, thanks to time constrictions, I only like uh, do like half an hour because that is typically what the video lasts. Darkness and Psychic. What can that be? Can that be a Gengar, Eveltal, EX, uh, GX deck? Who knows? But if, the, if he plays uh, GXs, he's going to get uh, destroyed by Rampardos. Okay, we start with Jirachi, and now we have our research lab, so that is going to work out way better than in the first game. I did not even uh, notice that uh, we digged so hard to not be able to get, of course, the research lab. Sometimes you have those games, but we also won. Fire, Dex, Hustle, Bell, Spiritomb? Spiritomb, Baby Blast, something, something. I don't know. I don't know what this is, but I'm ready for it. We're going to draw an extra card. Ooh, there's Rampardos already. Okay, coughing. What's to do? Uh, well, in this scenario, I'm gonna give one skateboard to our Jirachi. Gonna smack down this research lab. We are gonna go for... Hmm, do we use Cynthia at this point? Or do we... Yeah, I think we do have these guys up and ready. So even if he evolves, we can smack some damage. Hmm... Yeah, we do have energy switches, so I'm gonna go with one energy on this Jirachi. Gonna go for a Cynthia. We do always rely on those uh, crazy energy switch plays, so we do have this. So, and the crane of is in hand. Okay, Stellarish. Yeah, Cynthia for next turn. We do have another Cynthia in hand. Not that it matters too much. Getting more Cynthias, always better. And now we're gonna rely on that crazy effect and getting our Pokemon in play. I think one crane does. And. 
Do we finally get out our Caracosta or do we wait? Caracosta getting rid of tool cards like Hustle Belt for instance. Uh, typically those Spirit Tombs need, do need a lot of time to set up. So maybe getting out Caracosta is not a bad idea at all. Yeah, let's get out both of them. I don't think this deck is very aggressive so it's gonna be quite slow in my opinion. Could have gone for communication and finding another Jirachi to use two of them. I do think this deck is a little bit on the slower side. He could use something like uh, Roxy and Spirit Tomb and then Rainbow Energy so he smacks. Yeah, he can KO our Jirachi if he gets the right combination. Spell tag, okay, that's why we're getting out our Turtoga, that's right. So we can get rid of the spell deck, annoying damage. This is a spreading deck, okay, Fire Energy. Uh, we do see Building Spite, is he gonna be able... Uh, he did not attach rainbow energy, so maybe with another spirit tomb and a jinx he can get... Okay, our Jirachi survived, which is the most important, crucial part of this strategy. So first things first, what I'm gonna do is... Uh, we actually want to find... Actually want to find our Caracosta. Do we find Caracosta first? I guess so. Caracosta before everything else. So let's get this guy up and rolling. Caracosta over here. We're gonna get a fighting energy over there. And now we can go for Guzman Hall to find the Karate Belt, but we're not behind in prize cards. So Cynthia it is. Guzman Hall is nice to find that Karate Belt, but not, no, not right now. Okay, we have our Rampardos. He is ready to go and strike. But not just yet. I think I'm gonna go for Stellar Wish. We have Energy Switch, which is fantastic for next turn. Still don't have an Energy though, so that is also a little bit scary. We can use uh, the attack here. Clean hit for 60 damage, which is not enough to knock out this coughing, but mm, might as well two shot this guy. Although, yeah, I'm gonna go for another research lab. Just gonna get all my Pokemon up and rolling. So we are ready to fight this opponent. Could have already used Energy Switch now that I think about it. Oh well, if he strikes with Spirit Tomb, we knock it out in one hit either way. And we still have access to the great Super Boost Energy. So yeah, now that I think about it, Energy Switch should have been uh, the total play right here. And also Weezing is kind of like the opponent that smacks 40 damage and then more damage depending on how many damage counters we have. Hustle Belt. Not working, so too bad. We have Caracosta. Your entire game plan goes down the drain, so Spell Tag does not work, Hustle Bell does not work, and we have the time to set up with oh, Pro Pokemon Research Lab because now we have our entire squad set up. Now you're gonna be able to showcase actually to see what we are truly capable of. And this guy will be stuck. Spell Tag is just such a bad card in this matchup. Uh, first things first, uh, I don't think he runs GX, so I'm gonna get rid of my Great Catcher thanks to the Giant Heart. I'm gonna be smacking down my research lap again. And now we hopefully find a supporter. Yeah, energy spinner, just what I wanted actually. Although fighting uh, the martial arts dojo could also help out. Martial arts dojo or an energy. I think I'm gonna go for, yeah. I think now we have to go for energy spinner since we already used the Pokemon research lab. It's fine as it is. So we got the energy spinner. We get that one single energy. And the spirit tomb will be a little bit slow on the because of hustle belt not working out and that uh, we can just retreat for free and go with the energy switch getting the first attack off with wild crash even though it's on a coughing it is still considered a basic pokemon and what a basic pokemon it is it will go down with wild crash okay spell attack does not activate we win we survived that hit so against those rogue decks also doing fine okay who's next Another coughing. Is it gonna be Spirit Tomb smacking for a measly 90 damage? Or actually, it's more. It's 100 damage that he can smack. Oh, yeah. Here comes Giant Heart again. So it's probably gonna be a Welder based deck, if I had to guess. Even uh, Oracorio in the discard pile. Very unique. I like the strategy with spreading. But uh, yeah, Spell Tag not working and Hustle Belt not working. Definitely gonna be in a bad position for you. Even if we get knocked out, we have Rosa. Now we have Copycat, so I think I'm gonna go for Copycat to find ourselves some more energies. Hopefully he still has a huge hand size, so we can go about this. Okay, all basic Pokemon will get damaged thanks to the Detention Gas. The good news is that only Jirachi is a basic Pokemon. 
Okay, yeah, he concedes because we have that clean hit knocking this guy out for 120 damage. So as you can see, guys, this fossil deck is legit. Definitely check it out. Let me know what you think about this uh, in the comment section below. If you enjoyed the video, be sure to demolish the like button, subscribe for more content, and also check out my episode I did on the top 20 best cards of the Sword and Shield set. Anyhow, have a fantastic rest of your day. Thanks again for tuning in, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.